Good morning and greetings from Lakeview Cemetery in Cinnaminson, New Jersey. We're just outside of Willingboro. This is Lakeview Cemetery. It's got this beautiful lake. I don't know if you can see that bridge, but I gotta, I gotta show you what this looks like. Uh, we're going over to the grave of Gorilla Monsoon. I'm gonna show you exactly where it is in case you wanna visit, pay your respects to one of the greatest announcers and a tremendous super heavyweight wrestler in the WWWF. So we're going to talk about him. We're also going to see the grave of his son. Both of them rather tragic uh, ends to their life. But uh, right now, let's go take a look at that bridge. And look at this beautiful old bridge. This crosses over to the other side of the cemetery. Very large cemetery. This is Cinnaminson. Cinnaminson is very close to Willingboro. Uh, Gorilla Monsoon lived in Willingboro. It was also his build hometown when he was a, a good guy, a, a baby face, they would say, you know, from Willingboro, New Jersey, and Gorilla Monsoon would come out. So this is the office here. Here's the lake. This is the office. You'll read online. It says it's 300 yards from the office, which it is, uh, but it's not exactly the easiest thing to find. So I'm going to show you some markers so you can find your way over. But you start here at the office and the office is the one that looks like a regular uh more boring office there's these more ornate buildings that are mausoleums uh, but you want to look for this office there's this circle here and then this section is called mall muse m-e-w-s and this is the section he's in i'm going to show you how far back all right so the graves are right here and the office uh, still back there and the beginning of this section that you saw right back that way. So uh, hopefully this will help you. It did take me a while to find it this time. I'm going to tell you a little bit about both of these gentlemen and uh, how they made an impact on me. And I'm sure you too, if you're watching. So here's the grave of Gino, Robert J. Morella, beloved husband, father, and pop-pop. June 4th, 1937 to October 6th, 1999. This is what Gorilla looked like in his wrestling days. Uh, he was originally billed as being from some far away land. I can't remember off the top of my head, but later when he became a good guy, when he became a hero, uh, they billed him from Willingboro. And Gorilla was uh, just a brute. I mean, just a big 400 pound guy. I think he was six foot nine. Uh, and he later became the color commentator. I want to show you this. That's him and uh, Jesse the Body Ventura. I loved Gorilla's sense of style. He always had those kind of dark blue glasses. And he also did a show called Primetime Wrestling. I was a big fan of Primetime Wrestling. Primetime Wrestling would cover, you know, the week in wrestling, and then it would show house show matches, which him and Bobby the Brain Heenan would throw to. Uh, him and Bobby were apparently very close friends, and uh, on screen, and then uh, off screen, and then on screen, they were absolute adversaries. But he's buried right here, and next to him, Joseph A. Morella, uh, very sad, February 28th, 1963, to July 4th, 1994. So Joey Morella, this is, uh, this is a picture of Joey Morella right there in the ring at WrestleMania 3. On camera, Gorilla would always seem to put down Joey Morella. He'd say stuff like, oh, referee Joey Morella, better get in there, better check this out. Uh, and he never acknowledged on camera that that was his son. And as a fan, I didn't even know it. Uh, the one thing I did know was that his nickname was Gino because when he would do commentary, with Jesse, Jesse would always call him Gino, which I always thought was kind of like this insider thing that you knew from watching. Now, Joey Morella was coming back from a show in Ocean City, Maryland, in New Jersey. He was on his way apparently to Newark and he crashed his car in the early morning hours and he passed away. And he was a very young man, he was in his thirties. And this devastated his father, um, Gorilla, you know, was, was heartbroken to have his son die so young. And it was the son that he worked with. You know, his son, he had seen him regularly, you know, was very close with him. And he died in such a tragic way. Now, Gorilla had diabetes and he had other 
other medical ailments and they got the best of them just five years later, October 6th, 99. Gorilla had stopped all of his treatment about 10 days before he passed away. He had decided he didn't want to spend his life uh, in a bed in his house. Here's a, another picture of Joey Morella. This is from when he passed away. There was a tribute to him. Now, I went to uh, a show that was on July 8th, 1994, and it was at the uh, Izod Center. It was then called the Meadowlands, ETH Rutherford, New Jersey, and it was a good show. Uh, but I do very specifically remember that's when I heard that uh, that Joey Morella had passed away. You can see on his tombstone, he's got a golfer and a baseball player. Uh, must have been a very athletic, you know, man. Uh, certainly being a referee is an athletic position and you know you got to jump up and down uh, to keep up with those guys so I heard about it they told the bell for him uh, it was kind of a heartbreaking thing to be there for that and uh, really Gorilla just never was the same after that you can I mean you can look at it it's such a short period of time after that that his life went downhill but his career just kind of shut down a lot after that he just didn't seem to have the same drive for it, which I certainly understand. Uh, but anyway, here is Gorilla Monsoon and Joey Morella. Really, I mean, iconic referee. One of the biggest matches of all time, Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant. He was the one that did it, did that uh, that count that uh, um, early in the match that people disputed whether Andre had pinned Hulk and uh, Gorilla at ringside calling that match with Jesse Bo the Body Ventura. Anyway, I hope these guys are resting in peace. Very, uh, very tragic how they both went, but they made quite an impact on me. And I'm, I'm glad to see they've got the Easter uh, palms here. So it, it shows that people in the family are still uh, looking after their grave. And, and that's always good to see. Well, that'll do it for this one. Uh, sad one, sad story, uh, but very nice, nice to kind of be there, uh, spend a moment at the grave of somebody you looked up to and say, hey, you know, here's where they, here's where they are for eternity. And uh, in my heart, uh, definitely Gorilla Monsoon really meant a lot to me growing up. I wanted to be a wrestling announcer. I wanted to be a broadcaster. I was on the radio for a lot of his career and I just really looked up to his voice and his style. And the real thing that they had to do a lot was a lot of ad-libbing. So hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.